so you want to know if the Fujifilm X100S is a good option in 2020. Well, let's go find out. joining me today it's a beautiful day outside and there's probably a million other things that you could be doing with your time but yet you chose to watch this video and for that I'm thankful if you like this video please hit that like button if you want to see more subscribe and hit that bell notification icon so you are notified when I release new content so the big question today is can the Fujifilm X100S hold up is it still holding up in 2020 well the short answer to that question is yes it's a lot like asking, will this 35 millimeter SLR camera still shoot and function in 2020? And the answer to that question is yes, of course. At the end of the, at the, end of the day, these cameras are just tools. As long as you know how to use this camera, you can still produce some beautiful images. And with that, I would like to direct you over to my Instagram page, at photo. Some of my favorite photos that I've ever taken were with this camera and you can see some examples of those on my Instagram. So I'd appreciate it if y'all wanna uh, head over there after this video, check out my Instagram, again, at MigFigPhoto. I would surely appreciate it. And hit that like button on the ones that you do appreciate. So, some of the things that I like about this Fujifilm X100S that's still relevant today is Fujifilm has always been known for their excellent color science. And even if they, even even though they focused on the APS-C side sensor, and it's not full frame, they have been able to produce some beautiful color and black and white images with their sensors. And for that, that's the reason why that this camera still stacks up to the cameras today. If you know how to use this camera, and you're not a professional, using this for uh, sports, live events, weddings, or fast action, uh, fast moving objects this camera will still work. Now the autofocus is showing its age in 2020, uh, but that's because that we've seen uh, generations and generations of new cameras come out. The autofocus and the speed of the functionality of these cameras get faster and faster. So of course, if you have this side by side with the latest generation of the X100 series, like the X100B, you're gonna notice that this camera may seem a little sluggish. But if you're a hobby photographer like myself, that uses this for street photography. I like to line up my shots, take my time, and uh, really focus on what I'm uh, photo you know, photographing. This camera still works in 2020, and like I said, uh, some of my favorite photos have been taken with this camera. Now, with the 16 megapixel X-Trans 2 CMOS sensor that this camera comes with, uh, it still produces more than enough uh, detail and image quality that uh, can relate if you're going to use this for social media which most of us do a lot of our photography ends up on instagram facebook um, 16 megapixels is more than enough to do the job uh, now if you're gonna if you're a professional photographer if you uh you know you do large prints then obviously an upgraded uh generation to this camera or any other x uh camera in the fujifilm lineup will probably serve you better but if you're a hobby photographer or if you're on a budget, I do want you to know that, like I said, this is an excellent camera in 2020 and beyond. Um, I do appreciate what Fujifilm has done with the look and the, and the, the uh, styling of this camera. That's what drew me to this camera. And I will say the most important thing is that you're shooting with a camera that you enjoy shooting and that's actually going to get you out and shoot. Uh, the Fujifilm lineup and the X100 series uh, in general uh, it really draws you in, it sucks you in, wants you to uh, pick up that camera, take it out and shoot it. And that's the most important thing when you're discussing what these tools bring to the table. Because at the end of the day, these are just tools. You have to go out and shoot it. And as long as you know your camera in and out and you, and you enjoy it, you will go out and you will shoot more 
and your photography will get better. All right, enough of me babbling. Let's walk around the city. Let's take some shots with this camera and then we'll wrap it up at the end. I appreciate y'all joining me. The Fujifilm X100S is still a great camera in 2020, and I think you'll be just fine if you pick one of these up for many years to come. As always, I appreciate you all stopping and watching this video. If you like this video, smash that like button, subscribe, and hit that bell notification icon so you are notified when I release new content. And also, don't forget to share this video with somebody else you think would be interested in photography or tech. Until next time, I will see you on the next one.